Hey guys, welcome back to Electric Car Repair Live. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel. In today's video, guys, here we'll show you if you have a BMW, guys, 5 Series, and we'll demonstrate on E60, E61. And you're trying, guys, to uh, test your crankshaft position sensors. Stay with us and we'll explain how to do that. The same engine, guys, uh, doesn't matter if you have a 4 cylinder, 6 cylinder, 8 cylinder engine, guys, all of them should be that way. Even if you have gasoline or diesel engine, testing the cram crankshaft position sensor will be the same, guys. Uh, same engine for instance been used in 3 series, 5 series, X3, X5, multiple BMWs. So pretty much it will work on uh, most BMWs between year 2000, uh, 2002 and year 2015 guys. Now uh, we will explain how to test it guys but before we do that let me introduce you to the channel. Every single car we get at the shop, we make at least two to 300 free repair videos, guys. And why we do all that? Simply because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need, guys, in return, please subscribe to the channel and like the video so we can keep providing that free information to you guys. Any tools, parts, or new crankshaft position sensor will be shared in the description of the video below. Check it out for your convenience. Now, uh, let me show you guys, okay, what we have here. As I said, guys, this specifically is N52 engine. Now, crankshaft position sensor, okay, in our case, it's located right under the engine starter right there. We have it disconnected. This sensor has three wires, guys, okay, three wires. One is orange, one is black with blue, one is yellow. The wire that we need to test now is the yellow wire. This is known as a single a signal wire, guys. Now, there is a special device that you can clamp to the wire to test them instead of cutting it open like we did. We wouldn't recommend that. But what we did, we peeled it a little bit. Uh, this is the signal wire. The orange wire is a 12 volt ignition wire. So if you put your uh, voltmeter, okay, a red lead on the orange wire and a black lead on anywhere on the ground on the engine, you will get a 12 volt supply. But uh, the middle wire is a ground wire and the yellow one is a signal wire. That's the one we have cut open. How you test the sensor, you will have to turn your ignition switch off ignition switch on excuse me so you see your dash lights on let me go ahead do that and we'll show you what we need to do after that so ignition switch is when your ignition uh, lights are on like that without the car running guys so we can get out and show you what to do next now we are going to get guys a uh, alligator clip to make things a little bit easier we're going to connect it to the wire that we already peeled and we're going to connect that alligator clip to the red lead of the voltmeter right here okay this is the red lead now uh, black lead we're going to put it to ground okay anywhere on the engine should be ground point guys in our case alternator is a good ground point make sure that you scratch the ground sometimes to uh, make sure that it's communicating good and if everything's connected good okay you should get five volts if you're not getting five volts check your wires make sure the ground is good if for some reason you're getting 12 volts or a little bit more than 12 you have the ignition wire instead of the signal wire open guys so you need to switch to the other wire in our case as i said signal wire is the yellow wire uh, and uh, right here we have five volts guys so that's great so far now let me explain okay i need to put that one to where you can kind of see it guys because otherwise it's impossible okay perfect right there five volts if i get a metal two and come close to that one check out what's going to happen to the sensor now it will approach zero. I pull it, five volts, approach zero. So when you get a metal big two, a big socket next to it, you get zero volts, 0 0.02. But when you remove it, you should get five. That's a good working sensor, guys. You can see send signal, no signal, signal, no signal. So it tells the computer that it has voltage and it's alternating. This is great, guys. This is a good working sensor. Now, you will need, uh, you can practically test it without turning the ignition on, but you will have to give it a 12 volt supply and a negative wire as well, guys. And uh, you can do it without having the ignition switch on on your car, but you can see it's doable, guys, and you can do it that way. So that's how we test the crankshaft position sensor on BMW 5 Series. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe and see you guys next time.